In today's social media driven world, you have to stop comparing yourself to other people. If you don't know who I am, my name is Dylan Madden, and over the last eight years, I have consistently posted online every single day. Now, the reason that matters is because most people, what do they do? They start posting and then they just kind of fizzle out. But I've consistently grown and grown and grown. And in that time, I went from a nobody who had no skills and was just trying to figure everything out to now helping thousands of people around the world through the real world and obviously through my social media. And in that time, I've built a social media with hundreds of thousands of followers on top of obviously building my own companies. And now I've traveled to, what is it, 22 countries. So if you're watching this and you are interested in building a successful business that will allow you to quit your job, travel the world, this is the best place for you. So in today's lesson, we're going to discuss why you need to stop comparing yourself to other people. Because if you look online right now, like you could be actively building a successful life, whatever you find is successful. So AKA you're beginning to get results and then you'll get on X, you'll get on YouTube, you'll get on Instagram and you'll see somebody else doing something. You're like, ah, oh, man, that guy looks like he's doing so much better than me. Maybe I should follow what he's doing. And instead of continuing to put energy into whatever you're doing that's working, you'll stop that and you'll start at zero again. And what this is called is shiny object syndrome. What I call it is just not being confident in what it is you're doing. And the reason shiny objects that are so bad is you have to understand it takes an immense amount of effort to begin seeing results with whatever it is you're like putting your energy into. Let's say you're building a YouTube channel. Well, if you are not consistently putting videos out and actively improving the quality of your videos, the topics of your videos, it's not going to grow. But if you consistently do it every single day, you will start gaining subscribers. It's just the same when you're building a client acquisition business. Once you've picked a service to start selling, you have to get credibility. You have to get more experience. You have to figure out what to charge. You have to figure out how to market yourself, how to find clients. All these different things go into closing your first client, your second client, your third client, and building an actual business. So if you are constantly comparing yourself to other people, you're going to see what they're doing and think internally, ah, maybe this isn't what I should be doing. Maybe I should do that. And so what you're going to end up doing is constantly starting and stopping, starting and stopping, starting and stopping. And it's going to take you many, many years to finally start seeing a substantial return on the energy that you're putting in. And I myself have faced this many times. I would start to do something and see a little bit of results. And then I would look at somebody else. And luckily I didn't have that much social media. I didn't care about social media at the time. So it wasn't a constant daily drip feed of dopamine and all this other stuff that I should and shouldn't be doing. But I would see other people, example is drop shipping. I would see somebody successfully drop shipping and I'd be, ah, oh, maybe I should do that. And so I would stop doing what I was working on and get into drop shipping. And then I would do that for a couple months and make a little bit of money. And then I'd be, ah, oh, man, this isn't it. Maybe I'm, this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. What should I do next? Ooh, that looks interesting. And then I would switch over and start doing that. And I've been online now since 2014. So that's a long, long time. I've seen a lot of people come and go. I'd say probably 99% of the people I started with, they're not existent anymore. But in that time, I've seen the patterns. I've seen the seasons of, okay, for, and it's usually, I've noticed this. It's usually for about a 12 month period, something new and hot uh, comes out of the market. Everybody starts doing that. And then it fizzles out. And then the next year, something new comes. So at one point it was blogging and making money online, living in Southeast Asia, doing all that, selling books, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then after that, it became, okay, start a personal brand and it was specifically on X. And then it, it went into SMMA. Then it went into promoting stuff on IG. Then it went back into drop shipping. And then it's just a continuous cycle. And if you're constantly looking outside of yourself for feedback as in, ooh, that looks like something I should do. You're going to constantly be chasing this new thing. And if you're constantly chasing the new thing, that means you're not properly building the skill that you need to actually get results. It means that you're not consistently growing that one business that you're putting energy into. And it's not just about business. Once again, it could be growing a YouTube channel. So let's say you started a podcast. It could be growing your social media profiles on X or Instagram. It could be fitness. It can literally be anything. And the more you compare yourself to other people, 
the more noise you are going to have in your mind. You need to get rid of all that noise because it does not serve you. All that noise is not going to put money in your pocket. It's not going to take care of your family. It's not going to take care of your girl. It's not going to allow you to build a fly business class around the world. It's not going to do any of that. So it comes down to you have to find the strength within yourself. And I wrote an article about this on Common Collected. You have to be delusional. You have to be delusional as far as this is the path I'm on. This is what I'm focused on. And you have to become obsessed. If you are not waking up every single day obsessed with doing the thing that you've chosen, you are never going to become a success. Because it's only the obsessed people, aka the people that are actually believing in what they're doing, it's only those types of people that see the results that they're putting their mind on. It's only them. It's not the people that kind of want to get rich, kind of want to have a successful business, kind of want to have a YouTube channel. Those people never make it. Because if you kind of want something, you have to understand there's somebody right now as you're watching this video that woke up today, they're obsessed with becoming the best of whatever they've chosen and they don't care what other people are doing. All they're thinking about right now is what do I need to accomplish next? And this is something I cover with my students inside of the social media and client acquisition campus. The people that wake up and the first thought in their mind is what is the most effective use of my time today? Those are the people that are going to run circles around you. Now, these people are, might not be as intelligent as you. Maybe you've got some kind of skill that nobody else has, or you've developed it to a level, or maybe, just maybe, you were just naturally gifted with being able to write, or being able to speak, or being able to just see things a different way. But if you are not consistently putting energy into developing that and putting yourself out into this world, nobody's going to know that you exist. And you're not going to have the energy required to actually get known. Because at the end of the day, if people don't know you exist, it doesn't matter how skilled you are or how good you are. That's just the reality of this world. And it's always been that way. Obviously, with social media, it's just amplified. Every single day, you need to be posting content to social media. And I teach you how to do that inside of the Social Media Client Acquisition Campus. Every single day, you need to be posting content to social media. And every single day, you need to be building up your skill set. Now, when it comes to comparing yourself to other people, the reason this is such a big issue is there is a time delay between you taking an action and you getting a result. So you take action, you get result, but there's that time delay. And if you are constantly starting new things and then, okay, I'm going to stop this, I'm going to do this. Ooh, I read this, this tweet or, ooh, I read this article or, ooh, I watched this YouTube video and I think I should try this instead. You're not going to have the energy. You're not going to have the momentum, the experience to see results from what you're doing. Every single time you see something somebody else is doing and you change what you're doing, you restart. So even if you start making progress in that time delay, you restart. So the solution is to just choose what it is that you're doing. See it all the way through from point A to point Z in a straight line, not all this zigzagging and all that other garbage. You need to just show up every single day and consistently get better because it's only the most consistent mofos out there that actually get the money, actually get the followers, actually change their life. And you can look through your own life in various other aspects where you just were obsessed and you actually showed up every single day and you stopped caring about what other people were thinking or might think and all that other garbage. And you actually saw results, whether it's fitness. I understand with a lot of you, it's either gaining muscle or maybe losing weight. You can see you focus and you got the result. And that's how it, you can apply it to every aspect of your life. So when it comes to how to stop comparing yourself to other people, it's going to take discipline. And one of the first steps that you can do is stop mindlessly consuming social media. You have to understand every single time you start mindlessly consuming, and I know you, you're sitting there on the toilet sometimes and you're just like, ooh, yeah, like 10, 20 minutes of just scrolling. Or you're sitting in an elevator and you feel awkward because maybe you're a little weirdo and the people around you in the elevator, they pull out their phone, so you pull out your phone. So the next time you're in an elevator, don't pull your phone out, just sit in that awkwardness. But you need to just stop mindlessly consuming, bro. Because you have to understand, whenever you're mindlessly consuming, your mind, at a subconscious level, is absorbing every single piece of content that you see. 
So even if you're not consciously seeking to compare yourself to other people at a subconscious level, you're going to have all these different conflicting opinions. So one of the best things that you can do is stop mindlessly consuming. Now, you could take it to the extreme and just not have social media on your phone, but you want to be accessible in the sense of if you come up with a content topic, you want to tweet that thing out, you want to post it to YouTube, Instagram, and all that. So it really just comes down to you consciously deciding to stop mindlessly consuming. But if you're one of those people where you're addicted to social media, just delete social media from your phone and use it on your computer. Now, the second step to stop comparing yourself to other people is you need to get obsessed with whatever it is you've chosen. If you are wanting to grow a client acquisition business, get inside of the social media and client acquisition campus and just become obsessed with that. If you want to grow a YouTube channel, become obsessed with that. That's the only thing you think about. And the reason I'm saying that is the time that I started seeing results was whenever I 100% got obsessed with this idea of building a successful blog. Now, it wasn't just building my own blog. I was also doing guest posts for other people. I was ghostwriting for other people. And that ended up leading me into an opportunity to get into email copywriting. And then from there, I just kept expanding and expanding and expanding. But I obsessed over my ability to write and to see it through. I stopped caring about drop shipping. I stopped caring about any of the other shiny objects. And I just focused on my ability to write and then obviously me selling my services as a writer. And this applies to anything. So whatever it is you've been taking action on, I want you to dedicate the next three to six months to only obsessing about that. And when I say obsessing about that, the first thing you need to think about is getting results that day. So it doesn't matter what you did yesterday. It doesn't matter what's going to happen tomorrow. What are you going to do today to get results? Because at the end of the day, what do we control? We control this moment. That is the only thing we have any kind of influence over. And just dedicate yourself for the next three to six months to only that one thing. And whenever you're consuming information, you don't need to consume information about conflicting business models. You need to only consume information related to the topic of your interest. It would be like you wanting to learn a language fluently. Let's say you wanted to learn Spanish fluently, but yet you were also watching videos on how to speak Mandarin and Russian and all these other languages. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't help you. Versus if you only listen to information related to learning Spanish, you're going to be able to speak Spanish fluently way faster. You have to understand that every business model works. Literally every business model out there works. So once you just accept that and you understand, okay, well, since every business model works, that's what Dylan told me. And I know it's true because money back always delivers. I'm only going to focus on whatever it is the business model is that you've chosen. Now, obviously, I was talking about this with a friend last week. I get it. You want to start selling info products. You want to do that because you think it's easy and you think that's the most scalable thing. But the best business model for you to choose is a service-based business. Be that copywriting, be that ghostwriting, be that social media management, video editing. I mean, there's so many services out there that people will happily pay you thousands of dollars a month for. So that's what you need to focus on. But that's besides the point. When it comes to not comparing yourself to other people, it's really that simple. Stop mindlessly consuming because it's completely pointless. And two, become obsessed with the business model that you've chosen and only absorb information related to that. Because you know how your brain works. If you start seeing some shiny object, that's what you start thinking about. So you need to get your mind completely obsessed with becoming the best possible person at your chosen skill, at your chosen, whatever your obsession is. And when you do that, you will slowly start divorcing your mind from comparing yourself to other people. Now, the, the third step, and this is going to take time, is once you start gaining, seeing results and gaining experience in whatever it is you've became obsessed with, you're going to have less of a temptation to compare yourself to other people and think about, oh, maybe they know something I don't. Because example, at this point, at where I'm at in my current life, and I, it's been like this for the last three or four years, I don't care what other people are doing. And even if I see it, I think, oh, well, good, shot, good job for them. That's awesome. Congratulations. I love that. I love to see other people winning, but it doesn't change my mind. It doesn't change the path that I'm on. And it wasn't always like that. That's why I can give you advice on this. But once I started seeing results from the effort that I was putting in, I stopped caring about what other people were doing because at the end of the day, they're not paying my bills. They're not helping me in any shape or form. So why do I care? Why do I care at all?
if what I'm doing is working, why do I, am I going to put time and energy into looking at what this other person is doing? So that's it, guys. Let me know down in the comments what topics do you want me to discuss. Obviously, I'm putting more and more energy back into this YouTube channel. And also, get on the waiting list. Click the description down below. There's a link down there to get on the waiting list for the MAD strategy. I'll be dropping it at some point this year. But right now, my main focus is obviously inside of the Social Media Client Acquisition Campus. So join the waiting list, and I look forward to talking to you guys in the next video. Peace.